I'll talk about grid resiliency, some of the new thinking at Con Edison about how to how to design the grid. I'll talk about the sort of the design basis of the network grid, which is different in for the underground system than it is for most of the rest of the country. And I'll talk about the current status of distributed generation, various types of technologies that are being installed, uh, what we see customers selecting, what seems to be working. So <coughs> distributed generation moves. Move that little back a little bit. This, this is this this is the classic um, electric infrastructure setup across the country. You have a large power plant, usually at a, dis a distance from the load center. Uh, that's over on the left there connected to the transmission system. And the transmission system are usually, you would see these large overhead lines outside of the city coming to the load centers. Those go to trans, uh, substations where the voltage is transferred down to what would be usable by the customers. And that's, de and that's uh, delivered uh, either through a network grid, which is shown in the purple grid on the left, or through a radial supply. And the design of the grid, I'll go more into the design of the network grid and some details of, about the protection of that in a few slides. Uh, but the, what distributed generation does is it turns this, um, my animation, it turns this on its head where you have the, the, the power being supplied and, and produced at the, at the location where it's being used. And that really turns the traditional electric delivery system um, on its head, and uh, that, that raises policy issues, it raises rates, issues about rates, um, it, it raises issues about uh, technology and protection of the electric grid, and all of these are being addressed and evolving uh, so that we're finding that the system is actually more amenable to distributed generation than we previously thought. Our engineers used to freak out whenever a project came in that wanted to connect, but um, since they're engineers, they're starting to become a little more interested in some of the challenges in solving them, solving the issues. Um, touch 